Woof woof, what's the time? Damn, that really doesn't translate well into English. Anyway, it's new smartwatch time, Fossil Gen 5 to be exact, and this one is the Manly Carlisle version. Ever since I got rid of my Huawei Watch 2, which I refer to as a useless piece of tech that is an extension of something that is in your pocket, or something of that sort, I really wanted to get another smartwatch. But all of them are either too sporty, too apply, or too uselessly. Hmm. So your first question would be, how long does the battery last? And I can tell you, if you want something that does not run out of battery, you should get yourself a watch that tells the time and nothing else. Because the Fossil Gen 5 will last you two days, which is actually kind of uh, impressive seeing as it does run Android Wear, which is a lot more useful than whatever Samsung has and Light OS from Huawei, which can maintain that two week battery life because it can't do anything. Can you reply to WhatsApps? <laughs> Not on the Huawei GT2. Sorry, I, I got a bit sidetracked. So the Fossil Gen 5 has the latest and greatest Wear 3100 processor from Snapdragon. And if you compare that to the Gen 4 from Fossil, that only has the 2100 from Snapdragon. So this is definitely a thousand times better because there's, there's a thousand that separates the two processor numbers, right? Okay, so it's not the greatest in terms of overall processors. I mean, it's no 3950X, but what do you expect? It's a smartwatch. The watch itself isn't too heavy, except if you opt for the metal wrist strap. So exercising is completely possible. Even with the metal wrist strap and with the eight gigs of storage and Bluetooth capability, you won't need to take your phone when you go for a jog from point A to point A. Oh no, you can just store music on it and then connect to your headphones, which is a nice feature to have. No SIM connectivity though. Yeah, you'll have to get another watch which I can't name from the top of my head. The Carlisle Gen 5 from Fossil is comfortable to wear and at some times I don't actually notice it at all because like I said before, it isn't really heavy. Your wrist will get sweaty on a hot day underneath the silicone strap, but then again, it will get sweaty underneath any strap in the heat that beats from the African sun. And if you need to get a watch just to be stylish, darling, well, the Fossil Gen 5 might be for you. Styling will always be subjective, but this can be worn to a fancy dress or even with a fancy dress. Well, I, I wouldn't know. I, I don't really own a fancy dress. So yeah. But because this is Fossil and Fossil make watches, there are many different styles that you can choose from, which is refreshing to see in a smartwatch because usually you only get one style in different colors, which translates to you can pick and choose to what you would regularly wear and not have to stick with something that looks like a smartwatch. And I know I've only been talking about the Manly Carlisle version, but ladies, this one's for you as well in a style called the Juliana. But just so you can compare, the Manly Carlisle version has a 44mm casing with a 22mm strap that is pretty universal, while the Juliana has a 44mm casing with a 22mm strap, which is pretty universal if you want to choose other straps. Wait, that, that, that's, that's the same. I guess the Juliana is more bedazzled? Question mark? Features wise, the Gen 5 is dust and water resistant for those sweaty and sandy occasions, you know, on the beach exercise. It also has a heart rate monitor and an altimeter to measure all your altis. Luckily my altis have been measured and they are extremely low. Thank goodness for that. And also if you live in a country that's not South Africa, you get some NFC tap action. Not yet South Africa, not yet. It also sports GPS for tracking your movement because your info and jogging route is really important to Google. But to be real, you can download Google Maps on this and navigate it without your phone. It's actually quite nifty. The Fossil Gen 5 also has a built-in mic and speaker to make it seem like you're conversing with your car from the 80s. I've taken one call on the watch in the streets of Santon and I ended up transferring the call to my phone because it is inaudible and also the person on the other side of the line cannot hear you. The hardware buttons, of which there are three, can be customized, except for the crown. You can't customize that one, so you only have two customizable buttons. The middle one, the crown, opens the app menu. But you can uh, customize the other two to almost anything you might need quick access to. 
Navigating through the menus is also quite fun at some times, with a very accurate rotating crown, which in my opinion is better than moving your finger around the face of the watch to navigate. Sticking with the hardware buttons and maybe the coolest feature of them is the fact that you can skip songs via the buttons and adjust the volume with the rotating crown, which I find extremely useful. And I know, you're sitting there and like, but why? Because if I have headphones and I don't want to take my phone out of my pocket, I can just do it with my watch. It's easy. Bringing me to the question why you would want a Fossil Gen 5 rather than a Huawei or a Samsung smartwatch. Because of Android. Android Wear still offers a whole lot more functionality than LightOS and whatever Samsung has on their watches. For example, and I've said this before and I'm going to say it again, can you reply to WhatsApps on your Huawei GT2? Didn't think so. So all in all, just ignore the 7,000 Rand price tag and drop a comment if you want more information on the Fossil Gen 5. Hit like and subscribe. This video was made possible thanks to my salary. Bye salary. I'll see you next time.